Collect and Analyze Data. In Pocket Lab Notebook, you can collect and analyze data from the Trials page. To connect to Pocket Lab, click Connect Pocket Lab. Then turn on your sensor by clicking the button on top. Then select the sensor from the Bluetooth connection window and click Pair. Once you're connected, you'll see data streaming. The default for Pocket Lab Voyager is acceleration. There are some options to change which graphs are displayed up here with the graph button. So these are all of the things that the Pocket Lab Voyager 2 measures. So you can select multiple graphs and see how these graphs change over time. For the graph that you have selected, you can open the settings menu, so you can select the units, so g's or meters per second for acceleration, uh, or turn off axes, so if you only want to see the z-axis, you can do that here. There's also options to display your data as a bar graph uh, or as a speedometer. You can find those all in this setting menu. Uh, you can also change the data rate. Uh, so this is 20 points per second, which will be good for most use cases. Um, you can turn the data rate up higher if you're recording something that happens really quickly. Uh, or if you're recording over a long period of time, you can use a slower data rate to record data. To record some data, click Record. Then click Stop to stop recording. You can review your data by hovering your mouse over the individual points, and the data will be displayed down here on the bottom. Uh, here we're looking at the acceleration on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis of the Pocket Lab Voyager. You can click and drag to zoom in on any individual points, and double-click to zoom back out. When you have some data selected, you can use the Data Analysis tab to see some statistics about your data. Uh, you can see the value ranges as well as the averages for each of the axes. Uh, you can also apply curve fits to your data. Uh, so you can apply exponential, linear, or other types of curve fits to your selected data. To save a trial, you can click Save, and that'll save it to your Pocket Lab Notebook account. Or you can download a CSV file that can be opened in Google Sheets or Excel, uh, or save your data to a lab report. And those are the same thing as the lessons that you'll have uh, in my lessons or you'll find in the lesson library. And finally, in this settings menu, you can record in memory mode, so you can Start the device recording and disconnect from your computer or phone, and the sensor will continue recording until you reconnect again. You can also rename your sensor, so if you have a bunch of Pocket Labs in the same classroom, you can rename them Pocket Lab Voyager 1, Voyager 2. This will make it a little bit easier for your students to connect to uh, multiple sensors in the same classroom. And then there's also options to full screen your graphs uh, or unpair from your Pocket Lab.